Child care is costly. Clark County consistently ranked one of the most expensive for child care in Nevada. 8 News Net reporter Ryan Matthews shows us the problem and legislation that could help reverse it. How are you? What are you guys working on today? Jordan Smaggio is a director at YMCA of Southern Nevada, where he says affordable child care reaches 14,000 kids a year. The children are engaged in evidence-based or research-driven programs um, that are, are fun. But as a nonprofit, he says their financial margins are already stretched thin, and the demand for care like this keeps rising. We're not making a large-scale dent on the problem until we can build full child care development centers. And he says there are hundreds of kids on a wait list to get into programs just like this. A huge demand with not enough space or providers. But if recent legislation makes it through the federal government, it could mean a piece of that puzzle can be addressed. Currently right now, nonprofits can't ha don't have access to small business association resources. Nevada Senator Jackie Rosen is making progress on a years long problem. This 128 page report from the governor's child care working group from this year highlights that most Nevada children have parents that both work. 74% of them under five years old do not have access to licensed child care and the cost can often be more expensive than college tuition. This week, this nonpartisan bill passed out of a Senate committee, the Small Business Child Care Investment Act that would allow certain nonprofits access to loans to increase child care capabilities. We're going to give people, give these nonprofits, like I said, your local church, your Boys and Girls Club, your YMCA, uh, the resources to have these uh, financial and other kinds of training. At the end of the day, it is still a loan program, meaning it would need to be paid back eventually. The YMCA director says along with other funding sources like private donors and state dollars, child care costs would not increase to pay it back. This bill now heads to the U.S. Senate floor.